playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Hey Paul, what? Hey Paul, I heard you got knighted. You wanna see some artwork? I'm like, nah, Ringo. I don't wanna see your artwork again. I showed it to my children last time. They cried. It's fucking awful, mate. Oh, yeah, so... Do you have any advice on how I can improve my artwork, Paul? Yeah, fucking kill yourself. Then it might no, be worth it's, something. It's good stuff. He's wow. doing He's doing art. It looks... Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Brandon, before you get all uh, all huffy about that, how many, great, how many great artists were, like, super popular when they were still alive? You shouldn't tell an artist that they'll be more popular if they kill themselves. I mean, statistics don't lie, though, Van Gogh, Da Vinci... just saying statistics statistically speaking van gogh da vinci michelangelo they were all a lot more you famous my dick yeah testistically speaking T testically speaking God where's damn. jeff i need jeff to save me jeff he even, he even sounded stupider when it came out of his mouth um <laughs> pretty stupid yeah it sounded stupid when you said it and then he said it and i was like great i lost brain cell yeah testically speaking I'm not even the best drummer in the Beatles. Testically speaking, I'm not even the best drummer in the Beatles. Oh. That was, a, that was a solid dig at McCartney, though. That was a solid dig at McCartney. Probably the worst person on the planet. Wow. <laughs> no, he seems cool. I remember one time we were walking through the park after a show, and Paul said, Hey Ringo, watch this. And he pushed an old lady into a creek. <laughs> Thought it was pretty fucked up, but then he laughed and kept going. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if Paul McCartney did some real shitty to me, I wouldn't even be upset. <laughs> I'd be like, well, at least I got fucked over by a beetle. Right, and tell the story where Paul McCartney just messed your fucking face in with a convenience you know, store door. So, work. there was a story, I forget, god damn it, I can't remember who the artist was now because I'm blanking, but it was a, a, an, a like a singer. After turn 34, I started shooting blanks too. He was meeting, he met Paul McCartney at a bar and they were having a conversation and Paul got so into his story. He was talking about the time Paul, he got real pissed off at somebody in the bar and socked them in the face and got so into the storytelling accidentally, bam, the other singer right in the face. <laughs> that would be cool. And the dude wasn't even mad. He's like, I got fucking punched out by a fucking beetle. A beetle just punched me in the fucking face. Oh my god. Hey, dude, everyone knows that was Ringo Starr. <laughs> hey, Brandon, I've listened to your work. I'm a huge fan. Dude, fucking. The washer and dryers at this place fucking suck. Make your own. Dude, I. I did my laundry in one oh. of the washing machines and it was before we started the podcast I the cycle was done and I went and I got it I had to wring every piece of, of laundry out put it in a different washing machine and run it again because it was all still so wet there was so much water the water is still on the floor now yeah. That's Jesus. I then no. ran it through one of the dryers twice because the first time it was still damp and I was like alright you know maybe it's just like a Maybe I just put a big load in, and it needs uh, another cycle. It's still fucking damp. I'm so angry right now. So anyways, Paul McCartney punched Eddie Vedder. Oh, Pearl. shit. Yeah, of Local H. No. Pearl Jam. Oh. Even I knew that. I don't know anything. Everyone knows the lead singer of Van Halen. Come on, Chris. Oh, we're trying to come up with a sex shop oh. that sells... Paul. Uh, Paul. <laughs> Paul McCartney walks it, walks through a park. Hey, Ringo, watch this. He grabs a board and goes and puts it in front of a slide, and you just hear a thump on the other side. <laughs> hey, Ringo, fuck them kids, am I right? That'd be a good series. <laughs> I like how for a second there, your accent went Australian. Oh, dude, you just missed out a whole bunch of fucking just shit uh, on the Beatles. There was some... Yeah, you missed it. There was some cherry picks right there. Well, let's be honest. It's always, uh, I mean... It's been universally decided that the Beatles are the worst band that's ever existed. With the possible exception of Elvis, if you want to call him a band. I <laughs> mean, really. Hey, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, why don't you yeah. check out the link I sent in the general chat? 
Buffalo the, Wild Wings isn't delivering anymore. There is there. not. Uh, you can find out. There is not enough whiskey in this fucking house to make me feel better about this podcast. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Est Wings in Texas. Est? He Est said, Wings in Texas. He said yeah. best. His microphone's just kind of lower quality than ours, so it cuts out sometimes. Well, Jeff's kind of lower Est quality. Est Wings in Texas. I do not. I did not like that at all. I did I not like that. I liked it because that's the kind of shit you do. That was probably my least favorite thing that I've ever like that's ever raped my ears before. You can't say that, Mark. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's how you talk. Are that's you why we that's why Brandon had to outlaw the fucking penthouse letters. Wing stop. Yeah. Oh yeah, do I should I just get rid of those books cuz like we're never going to use them. Get rid of them cuz I'm sure we'll you know what? When we become big enough, we'll do a special like you know, uh, Patreon thing where that's what we do. I was actually oh. looking when over we our start numbers going again. To cons, I think that live one... readings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Brandon, I was actually you're gonna hate this. I was looking over our stats. You uh -huh. know what episodes always tend to do the best? The yes! ones. The ones that have titles like Chris's Sex Dungeon. What? <laughs> yeah, because those are ones where people are like, "Well, shit, I guess I have to walk, or I have to listen to this one." <laughs> or you know, J squared hires a hooker. Okay, uh, J squared hires a hooker was just amazing for everyone. What? Okay, so we have to talk about sex now. Basically, if we're not just talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you, baby. Yeah, we need to talk about humiliation kinks and sex, and that's and that's how we get the success. Well, if we want to talk about humiliation, so we're bringing Mark, we'll talk back. about your parents. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's be real me. here. Oh my God! J Squares is having that much trouble getting laid. Should we introduce him to Mark's parents? <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. The, the worst, the worst part is, is Jet, Jet's real name is my name, so it's the really fucked yes, up part. They probably get some real kinky role playing in. Well, again though, but my dad's name is also my name, so it's all. It's, I, it's, to fuck it's awful. It's it's really awful. Just the His whole situation is my, my name, name too. too. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you guys, Mark. Jacob Jingleheimer, shit. <laughs> His name is my name too. So I'm seeing him. Uh... Whenever we go out, Paul likes to push the old ladies in the creek. What? <laughs> what the shit is that? And why has it got a glowing back dick? Uh, that is a. That's the fire squirrel. That's you actually always... the shit that's coming out of it because it ate one of those hot chilies, the dragon breath. What? Did you read the part where <laughs> somebody opens his mouth? He goes, it there <gasps> because it's hot enough to burn your esophagus. Yeah, I'm excited. Awesome? Burn your I read esophagus. that. I read that, and I got a stiffy. You know, Paul used to get stiffies whenever he'd push the grandmothers into the creek. When does a creek become a creek? A creek is just another way to say creek. No, it's not. They're two very different things. No, they're not. A creek becomes a creek when you leave North. You're just Carolina. attacking a cat. Cat? Question mark. Okay, uh, burn. It's amazing. And let's let's hit the cat. Remember, kids, animal violence is funny if it's purple. For Christmas Eve. Met a nice lady on Tinder I've been seeing for a month. Yeah, how come you never got back to me on Tinder, you douche? You left, asshole. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Fly up and see you? You're still matched. Yeah? yeah. I have my own place now. You can fly up and see me. Do your own place now? Whoa! How is that not covered more? I, okay, let me rephrase that. I'm, I'm not living with twinks. I'm not living with family. <laughs> oh, so I'm you're the, back with the twinks? I'm the king of the twinks. Yeah. Does that make you the ding dong of the twinks? What? I don't get the ding dong joke. You're I'll make that hostess. Now. Hostess put the, the most nutter butter, down. the snowball. Wow, a lot of these uh, snack cakes can really just straight up be sex, huh? I'm more of a fancy cake. I do like that. Dude, that is, that's what that's what J Squares was trying to buy. Oh, fancy wow. cake. Oh wow! 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 Ooh. Oh, yeah, he was. Uh, that's going real nice. She full of shit. Things are great. Life is great. I'm sorry. Did you just say she's full of shit? <laughs> that's what I heard too. I did. The way you said that in order, I was like, wait a minute. I think you need to flip it, reverse it. 
I mean, I'm sure he said he's she's cool as shit, but the way oh! he said it definitely I'm sounded so like she's full of shit. shit. I love this group. Hate this fucking podcast. We're a great group. That of people. one, no, no, no. That one, I wasn't even trying to be mean. I was really just curious. I was very like you're, you said. You're happy. I was confused. We definitely misheard <laughs> you. That was that was our fault, not your fault, Chris. I hate this fucking podcast. Damn. See if I do another one. Chris, you hate my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You know, I felt bad at first, and then when Brandon said that his sister brought that up, I'm like, you're fucking stupid. I hope you hit a bridge. What? Oh my whoa, god, whoa, whoa. I hope back she listens to this Chris. episode. Well, that's a uh, stupid back, thing. I feel to... like I'm, miss... I'm missing so some context here. you hope she gets here. a bridge? Yeah, I hope she hits a bridge, snaps one of those weird cables. It... You're an oh, <laughs> asshole. It cuts the car in half. She tries I to heard, catch that I heard, I hope cable. she gets a bridge, like you were calling her a troll or some shit. What? No. <laughs> I don't have. A, I'm missing a lot of context here. Can we get me? Can we get me in on this? this Chris shit? thinks Brandon's sister's a troll. No, I. He hates Holmes. I drank a bunch. I made an ass of myself. I thought I was being funny by saying I hate this house because his parents, Brandon, and everyone else was dogpiling on me. So fast forward, we're still pouring more alcohol into our bodies, and I start talking and i can't stop because i <laughs> i'm it, it's one of my least favorite moments of me um it was funny wait, wait, wait. honestly the thing is his jokes yes. to my the joke was funny and my dad even saw that it was be, he was being funny yeah that i hate but the thing funny. is th my sister took what that out of can't just do my sister took that out of context and only heard him like just like and then he came into our house and said he hated our yeah, house exactly and like, because your sister made a simple mistake chris wants her dead right yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong or at least gravely injured. wait 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 can i just confirm is it the older sister or the younger sister it's it's the younger sister Oh, Chris okay. wants Brandon sibling list. Who then told my older sister the story of what happened. And so I hear from my older sister, so why are you bringing people around to our house and then they just hate, say they hate our house and then try to tell our little brother to get prostitutes? All right, let me go off for just a quick <laughs> hey, second. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know hey, if ladyboys lady are necessarily boys. prostitutes. Okay, you know, I understand it's a Christian household that kids, the golden child, they're trying to do the best golden they can. Golden child? They're just trying to do the best they can, goddammit. Let me finish. Because it's the golden child. Because it's the golden child. No, they already had their golden child, and it's me. Yeah, you're going to say this. Everyone's aware. So, Brandon, introduce me to your family, and I'll make a way worse impression. Please don't. Brandon, <laughs> let, me, let me hang out with your family again. I've already done that, and it's already been a shit show. I'm gonna meet what? Brandon's family, and I'm just gonna play this podcast as loud as I can. Please. Well, I I had grown up around that age, and I had you know. Hired uh, a lady boy in Thailand. Once, couldn't go through with it. Uh, but no, it's I I had other adults that were you know weirdos, but they were you know business owners, and they would say weird shit like that to me, and I'm. Fine. They would say, hey, have you ever seen a person with both genitalia and or tried to fuck them? Yeah. Have you ever I'm been a... in a Turkish men's pl prison? You ever uh, just... hang around in a uh, boy's Tell locker room after a... everyone else is gone? Well, I'm just saying. Tommy, have you ever been in a Turkish bathhouse? With the same... You ever watch gladiator movies? <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> grow up with the same opportunity that those kids did, and I'm not chugging cock for heroin. Uh, yeah, opportunity being the ability to go to the Thailand and hire the lady boys. Look, the thing is, <laughs> you <laughs> fucked up, and you're aware of it, yeah. and I think the judgment should stop there. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not judging you. I, I would have done I the have same kind of friends, shit when I'm drunk. I have had yeah, friends, and my sisters have friends who have done way worse or on the same level. Well, so I letters. say, everybody, shut up. Well, I'm not I'm on Chris's side about this. I don't think no, he's talking to death, death, not you. I'm not oh, okay. even on my own side about if this. If Chris 
wasn't annoyed by this, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't even talk about it anymore. I wouldn't give a shit. It, it, bo- <laughs> it bothers me. You. It bothers you because you're upset because you feel like you underperformed from how you normally do, which I'm seeing a current trend. Chris, aside from Key, I'd say you're the be- uh, the the best person on this show. Yeah. We're only saying that because Key isn't here. <laughs> I said aside from Key. No, because Key being the uh, the straight edge just doesn't have as many of the oh, I should have said those nights as we all do. I love ever. We need to make a drinking game every time. We, we just need to start going out of our way to bring up getting Key drunk just so we can play a drinking game of Key I saying, no, I'm straight want, edge. I would never want to get Key drunk. No, absolutely not. I'm just saying we need to. I, I just oh, I so love hearing I'm, him say. I'm the bad guy in the group. Yeah, I just that love hearing said, Key say I'm, I'm I'm straight edge. That being said, I'm okay with slipping Key heroin. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, like sprinkle, like give him a, like a Chicago style dog, and we sprinkle a little heroin on top. Oh my like, god! Yeah, cool that. Fucking Gene and Jude's. <laughs> I'm thinking about those hot dogs. Mark, have you amazing, had Gene and Jude's? Have you been to Chicago? Yeah, I've been, I had Gene and Jude's when we went there for the wedding. Oh man, it's incredible. Wedding part un. Wedding, no, wedding chapter one. Oh fuck. Wedding round one. Are we done shitting on on Key now, uh, Chris? Now? I didn't know that's what. We're, oh, Chris now. Oh, I don't. Okay, we're gonna keep shitting on Key though. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> Chris, can you make us a death ray? They have plans for one, yeah. You're the handiest out of all of us. If any of us has a chance, it's you. Well, if you go to the website, uh, unitednuclear.com, they have plans to make a death ray. And they sell if it. If I go them. on this website, am I getting put on a list? You probably sure, certainly are. Well, they sell uranium. They sell, no. like, a, a radio. <laughs> to, clarify, to clarify real quick, you mean another list, right? Oh, yeah, I'm already on a few, but... Not like a... Federal watchdog. Well, like a go federal to, terrorist watchdog list. You go to familywatchdog.org. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, is that the pedo list? <laughs> that's the. That's just the. You know, it's, it's pronounced pedo. That's just the, the sex offenders registry. No, man. Oh, the there's British somebody. Pronounced things so much cooler than us. Shit, I missed what was happening. Yeah, apparently October was the chick hiding in the uh, the graveyard. You're trying to fuck Halloween too? Apparently. I mean, why wouldn't you? Um, speaking of lists that people get put on, did I ever tell you guys I got put on the like do not allow in the store list for Walmart for like twelve years? That sounds about right. <laughs> did you try and steal? <laughs> Let me uh, try, yes, but also succeeded. You um, did tell us about this with your grandma. Yeah. Uh fuck. I it's it's been it I think it's been long enough. We can revisit this story, because it was around Christmas time when I did it. Mark was a bad child. Oh, I think I remember now. So when I was, uh, my parents didn't stole, like to buy me. You stole pantyhose and condoms. Right, yeah, at the age of nine. Yeah. Um, no, so my parents didn't like to buy me things related to, like, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, because, you know, Satan, which is ironic. They didn't like to give you anything you wanted. Well, that also is a fact. Including when you saved up the money yourself. <laughs> Including when I saved up the money myself. Anyway, so, uh... Uh, so I got the hankering and I was like, I want some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I don't have any money. So what would happen if I just slipped three Yu-Gi-Oh card packs in my pocket and left and I got away with it and I got a really, really hot, like really strong rush. Like you got a boner from Steve. I was going to say, just say hard on like the first time you come. It's what it feels like the first time. It's like like the the feeling of coming. Yeah, like when you get the pump oh, and then you come. Arnold, it's like when you're pumping iron is when like when you're coming. I'm coming every day in and out of the gym. You're pumping and pumping. I'm coming at home. I'm coming at the gym. I'm just coming everywhere. It's great. Ringo Starr, look at my cum. <laughs> I can't remember what the, I can't remember what Ringo Starr's accent was now. I don't Fuck. like your cum. Very British. Cool. I don't like your cum stains, but it'd make good art. Good uh, love your cum stain. So, yeah, so... Oh, wait, 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 Mark, stop talking. Chris, go again. Why? What do you want me to say? That was so good! Just repeat what you said last. Stop calling me cum stain on I don't want more of that. <laughs> that was really good! Yeah, it was alright. Continue.